Okay, August comes around and wrapping up and September comes, everybody screaming this fall. Fall doesn't start until September 20th, 21st, 20th. Okay, that is the official first day of fall. I'm going to need y'all to calm down, keep your pumpkin spice in your pocket. It ain't happening yet, okay? We still got a few weeks of summer, okay? And so I'm going to still be somewhere on a beach in a pool somewhere in a swimsuit. So y'all can calm down with this fall nonsense. All this come around, y'all lose y'all man like summer's over. No, 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 okay? Anywho, I'm going to start this video off with something new, and that is sharing some of the 2018 fall, fall fashion trends that I personally want to try out, that I'm personally loving and liking. I like the look and aesthetic of. If you guys hear that slow whine, I don't apologize. It is my fan. I turned my air conditioner off, but my fan is still on. Because it is 88 degrees here in Chicago. And my room is in the attic. So, the fan is on. Okay? So, let's get to it. So, like I said, I wanted to start off sharing you guys some of the fall fashion trends that I'm liking, I'm loving, that I want to incorporate into my fall um, wardrobe. Some things I haven't tried before, some things I haven't tried in a while, some things are not new. So we're just going to get right into it because this video is going to be really long and I don't have that much storage on my memory card. Okay? Okay. All right, starting off, the first one that I looked at, I was like, hmm, yeah, I see it, I like it, and that is corduroys. Corduroys are so trendy right now. They have reinvented themselves. They are back around. I remember years ago, back in college and even um, high school, where my auntie would go shopping and she would try to buy me and her just corduroys in every color. I remember literally having an argument with her one time when she came to visit me down in school. Well, came to visit me and my cousin down in school with me and her went shopping. It was in Sears or Coles, and I would argue with her that I would not let her buy some corduroys. I think they was purple. She wanted to buy some purple corduroys and find like a matching top. I'm like, no, that's what we're not going to do. We're not going to be walking around looking like Bernie. No. But however, I seen these, um, I seen these Madison pants. Um, I seen these. I think these corduroy pants, these are the Madison pant and burgundy from Mod Cloth. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I love that burgundy wine color for the fall. That color is like sex. It is everything. Ah, I love that color for the fall. These pants are cute. I like how they're structured. They're more of a wide, wide leg pants. They're more tailors wide leg corduroy pants and they just not like the stretching almost jean material. They're more of a trouser. I love the grommets, um, the the buttons along the pocket on the front, that brass color with that wine. Uh, I can see this paired with a black and white um, check coat, uh, maybe a simple black top and a pair of like, even you can get some boots that match that grommet, that brass copper color in the buttons. Come on, honey. Guys, Povola playing with me. I'm mad they like the site that brought Povola just stopped using it because you know I used to have the outfit layout for you guys. I can't even do that for you guys no more, but I'm seeing it. That's how I'm seeing these pants being worn. Um, another option for corduroys this season, another option for corduroys that they have this season is this sleeveless knit corduroy dress in green from Target. Um, from Target's line Wild Fable. Um, I've been watching some of the videos and reviews about Wild Fable. I have a pretty mixed reviews. I haven't been able to try the stuff myself, but I plan to do so. I've seen this dress particular on Anna from Wild Fables, and she is a more pear shaped, um, curvy girl who, you know, close to my size of 26, 28. And the way she fills this dress out does it. It does it, it's so much better. The model who's wearing it on the site doesn't do it justice, so I'm gonna insert some pictures there. But I like that green, that kind of um, I don't know what to call that. It's kind of like a gold green. I think of I know the word, I know the color, I can see it, but I can't think of the word to describe this green. But I like that green, I like the fact it's a front zipper. It seems like a pretty simple dress, something that you could dress up, dress down. Absolutely love it. 
corduroys are in, go check some out. Another good place to get some corduroys is the thrift store. Mm, challenge. Another trend that is very popular this year that has come right back around is the look of polished pajamas. We got this a few years ago. Uh, most of us can even remember that Eloquii soup sets that had the floor, the black with the floral and the white piping around. I wanted that. That's when I just discovered Eloquii about a year or so ago. So the look of polished pajamas are back around. And the first set I want to talk about and the first option that they have for plus size is from Universal Standards. Now this is a relatively to new store to me. I haven't ever been able to try anything from them yet because they are quite expensive. But the stuff they have is just basically like basics with a few showstoppers here and there and just something for everybody type, every standard. Um, they have their um, red medallion body, um, red medallion pajama set. I'm loving the clean, fresh look of that with the basic top that is not like the standard pajama top where it's a button up. It's more of like a tunic with the long sleeve and the crop pants. I absolutely love it. It's look fashion. I love how they have the styles here in the photo with the model, her hands in her pocket with the strappy white heel. Wait, is that white? Yes. The strappy heel. So cute. Love how it styles. Um, it goes up to a size. And you guys know one of the big things about Universal Standards is they go up to a size 30-32. Unfortunately, a 30-32 is already sold out. Um, that is unfortunate. But I think I can get away with a 28 in this size. So I don't know. It's $190. So I'm not going to say anything. But lucky that's $190 for the set. Another more cost-efficient, inexpensive um, alternative for this pajama um for this polished pajama look, this trend is from Target and specifically that who, and specifically who, what, where, yeah, who, what, where. This is their uh, polka dot short sleeve crop pajama top as well as their wide leg smoke high waisted culottes. I love it and it's in the color um, navy. The top will run you $27.99 and the pants will run you $34.99. I'm loving the look in this. It's some fun, fresh clothes. This would be real cute for, um, you could wear this to office appropriate, something you could wear to like a day lunch, a, a lunch date and everything. I really love the look of these pajama pants paired with a good bag and a nice simple heel, something white. I'm loving how they have white on even though it's supposed to be no white after Labor Day, which is this weekend, but you know what? You wear what you want to wear, honey, yes. Don't let nobody say you can't wear white after Labor Day. Who are you? My mama? Ha. Um... Ladies, all of my smaller uh, plus size ladies, a size one X, a size X, one X, and two X is already sold out on these culottes. So you guys, any of my other curvy girls in the size three X, four X, y'all need to go get these because people are not playing with these pajama pants. Another option for the pajama um, polished pajama look is from Saucy. I think I'm saying that right. Saucy is a relatively fresh out the box brand. I featured them on my Insta stories. I am loving their selection. I'm loving their size range and I'm loving their prices. There are they are not too bad pricing. They have some cute fun refreshing pieces. They have this blue and white pin strap top and bottom set. I absolutely love the white the blue and white pin stripe effects. I love the fact that the top is long sleeve and I love the cute embroidery details. They also have some pajama shorts and they gotta look kind of tight on the model but they're really cute i'm loving the hemline of it and how it flares out it's almost like uh what is those kind of shorts gym shorts not gym shorts mm, trainer shorts crap you guys know the shorts i'm talking about they kind of curve out at the bottom i give like a little vent to them i love the look of those those are more comfortable more breezy i'm loving the white pipe of all and i love the cute touch of the embroidery detail with the floral and the pinstripe absolutely cute obsessed with it and that price is not too bad either i can't wait to get my hands on something from saucy so i can touch out touch out test out the quality of these items that is something that i plan to get my hands on sometime before the end of the year i definitely want to try them out because they they are pretty affordable
Another trend this fall season is plaids and checker prints. And especially plaid and checker prints together or separately or something that you, your whole body is adorning it. So starting off with, I'm going to start off with this black and white plaid. Yeah, black and white plaid double knit blazer from Tori. You guys, I know. You guys know I love Tori. Tori is always special near this to my heart. I am loving this structured blazer from them. It has the single button in the front i love a good blazer whether it's vintage whether it's new in this blazer it's no obsession the checker the the black and white plaid print is on trend it's very business appropriate you could dress it up you can dress it down with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt to give it more like a like a casual look or you could dress it up um with the whole suit and put like a fun um um black and white polka dot or a stripe shirt underneath it to play on um print blocking absolutely love it or you can do like a red under that mm. Mm. this goes up of course they have their signature stretch ankle pants in this print as well i absolutely love toy leggings and pants they're very comfortable for me and they allow me to wear things high-waisted which is my go-to prefer um fit for bottoms another option for your plaids and your checks is from eloquy and it is this tie neck ruffle hem dress mini hem dress i absolutely love the boldness of this print with that kind of teal that emerald green that red and that that's the stock the contrast of that white and the love the little neck i don't know how i feel about the ruffle hem but I think it's absolutely darling. I can see this pair with a pair of white booties. Yes, white booties. This emerald green, that red with a red lip and that white. Come on. Perfect for the office. Perfect for like an event where you have to be a little bit more business casual. Absolutely love this. Or you can wear it to church and just slay it for Jesus, okay? Just slay it for Jesus. This is, of course, $119. Eloquy does not play. But Eloquy has always have sales, something that's 40, 50, almost sometimes even 60% off. So there's there's a chance you can catch this on sale. It does go up to a size 28. Yes. Another trend that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this um, Western trend. I have been a fan of the Western cowboy trend for a long time. I love a good Western shirt. I love a good pair of cowboy boots. I'm, I'm here for it. I love that this trend has come back around again this season. And it is just taking off without a hitch. I have some special selections for you guys. Because I went and found some things for our gentlemen out there. Our men, our big and talls out there. I have some shirts from ASOS here. Um, these are the Plus Slim Denim Check Western and blue um this is the man's this goes up to a 6x long it retails for 32 dollars i'm absolutely loving this plaid it's a play on the plaid as well as the check so you get two trends in one you get the plaid as well as you get the western trends very classic ladies if you like me you have no problem wearing man's shirt this is a good alternative to, for you to find if you can't find anything else in your size you can wear oversized or wear just your size and wear like oversized in the dress and wear it all different type of ways and have so much fun with it another option for asos when it comes to the western trend is this uh, plus regular fit western shirt with embroidery it is in black and it has the simple like bulls the bulls head on embroideries on, on the um up at by the lapels i'm loving the white piping with the contrast of the black that is so fun so cute again you, my ladies can wear it as well as my big and tall man i'm trying to get more man fashion in here because i do want this to be an exclusive an exclusive plus size platform for everybody you know everybody can get their fashion on here ladies don't forget i forget about you when it comes to the western trends eloquently has this beautiful floral um embroidered fit and flare dress that is 198 dollars i seen this on their catalog with that kind of double on western belt vibe absolutely love this this is so cute so little house on the prairie absolutely love it eloquently also tour it also has a few western items I'll, i will just add photos here they also have some western style 
belt says you can add to any dress or skirt just to give you that flair that look and of course pair it with some good cowboy boots just to hit it off and speaking of cowboy boots Eloquie has a western booty in black I love the fact that this has like the reptilian wet towel scale texture look and it's almost semi matte black as well as they have something in metallic silver oh my god <sighs> that with like a silver belt and like that floral dress like they have it um styled here or any other dress or a pair of jeans or skirts and like a cowboy one of them cowboy tops that black cowboy type with the western with the bull head bull skull on it and a denim skirt who y'all talking to y'all ain't ready for it y'all don't know nothing about it Another trend, this is the final trend that I'm going to talk about on this video, guys, and that is vintage scarves. I love vintage scarves. I have a few of them. I, sometimes I wear them as hair wrap or something. I just have them. And I'm loving that this print is coming back around and being worn on clothes. This is very um, 80s, no 90s Versace kind of vibe going on. I'm loving the Italian Versace vibe going on with these vintage scarf prints. I'm loving how I'm seeing them being worn. Um, someone like Karen Brickchick from Where Did You Get That wears actual scarves, like the actual scarves from the thrift store, and she wears it as a top. She's a smaller girl, so she can actually use a scarf and wrap it around and wear it like a top. But for someone like me, I'm going to have to purchase something with that print because the best thing I can do is wear it on my head. So, from Simply B, from their AX Paris, yeah, the AX Paris Curve line. We have a Target print, um, kind of off the shoulder blouse with the long sleeves that flare out. I'm loving this look. You get the gold, you get the chain look, you get that tiger print, you get that tiger image, which is very iconic of like Versace's in that 90s, early 2000s um, vibe. Absolutely love this. This goes up to a size 8. And it retails for $62. But with Simply B, there's always a sale. Next up from Simply B, and the same um, line is their AX Plus Curve Scarf Print Shirt Dress. Again, loving the fact that this is a shirt dress. I'm loving the color combination. Com I'm loving the color combination of the kind of corally pink to like a dusty purple uh, mauve color as well as with the gold i'm loving the cut loving the fit unfortunately this only goes up to a size 22 and and fellas of course i have some options for you when it comes to the vintage scarf prints and three of them here are from asos and unfortunately some of them are already sold out um i think they only have like a 5xl in stock but it is um so yeah they have a few options here and one of them only goes up and one of them only goes up to a size 2xl but they still care you guys get on it i think with asos they do restock certain things i cannot be certain but you, but you guys to check it out today okay guys that's it there are some that is some of the fashion trends that i am loving for the fall 2018 season that I personally want to get my hands on and try out and dabble. You guys know I'm first going to try up, hit up the thrift stores and see what I can find in the thrift stores and in vintage shops before I go actually spend money to buy something that's supposed to be vintage, classic, and pay today's price for it. You guys know I don't have it like that, okay? You guys know. Okay, guys, I'm going to come back next week with some of my favorite fall pieces that are new release pieces that I'm loving and want to get my hands on some of my wish list pieces for the fall but I just want to share with you guys some of the tr trends that go into the fall as you start seeing more and more stuff pop up on in, online or in store some of the things to look for to try to add and to incorporate into your fall wardrobe so you too my plus size styler can be on trend if you the type of girl who like trends me my stuff is pretty much DIY or vintage or thrifted. So a lot of stuff repeats itself. So sometimes I'm on trend and without even intending to be on trend. But then again, who doesn't want to go out and buy some corduroys? Or, you know, I definitely want to get them Western boots from Ellipoo. Those are nice. Anywho, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so very much uh, for your support and your kind. Don't forget to follow Full Style Inc. 
on every social media platform that's Facebook, that's Instagram, that's Twitter, as well as don't forget to support Full Star Inc. on Patreon. You guys, it's September. September's coming up, so you know what that means. October is next month, and I'm already thinking about Halloween, guys. I got a wedding in, in October, so it's going to be kind of tight, but I still want to do some fun and great things. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to make, we create, or if you guys want to help out so that I'll be able to give you guys more, please um, head over to my Patreon page, head over to Full Style Patreon page so that you can show your support and get some great and amazing things for this Halloween because I'm so excited to get onto that. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so very much, but I always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.